What's up guys, 6 Player here doing a deck profile for my Wolfbang Liberator Garmar. I, I've i been waiting for this deck for so long just because Garmar is one of my favorite cards. Um, uh, let's get started, Garmar was really cheap to get. I don't know why people don't like him that much, but I love Garmar, so let's get started. <sighs> Starter is Cheer Up Trumpeter. Now you run this card because he works really well with Garmar. Um, his effect is... Write it, call it to the rearguard. And uh, you can put this card into the soul. Choose your vanguard with the liberator. It gets plus 3000 every time you call a card from the top of your deck. So, the whole point of the Garmar deck is to call 5 cards to give you plus 5. Car, uh, plus five. So, and then, then your vanguard will get plus 15,000. So, it's really good. Uh, you'll get it when I explain Garmar's effect. Run four Wolf Fang Liberator, Garmor. <laughs> now Garmor, his effect is combat three cards with Liberators, so you need Liberators in the damage. So you have to make up your Liberator deck. Um, his effect is you can look at the top card of your deck, and you can call the Gold Paladin to the rear guard circle. And now you can keep on using that effect for free if you have an open rear guard circle. So, Garmor, combat severe for effect, some of the top card of your deck. And uh, if you have another rear guard circle, you can call another one for free. If you have another one, you can go. So you basically call five rear guards from the top of your deck, one by one. And that's really good. And if you choose not to, then you can't use the effect anymore. So, it's best to just call out the top five. It doesn't matter what the top five cards are. It's just that it gives you plus uh, 5 advantage over your opponent. It gives you a full field over your opponent. You don't have to use your hand. So your hand size is big in this deck. And your opponent doesn't want to give you 3 damage. So that's really good. His skill, his other skill is when this unit attacks a vanguard, you can put one of your rearguard liberators to the bottom of your deck to give him plus 4,000. So you'll be attacking for 15 by himself. But you'll probably have a booster. And you use that effect when you have a bad field. Let's say you call like trigger or something. You can put the trigger to the bottom of the deck. And uh, you can fix your rear guard columns. So it's really good. So four Gamar. Now four for the backup plan. Alfred. Now you run Alfred because uh, after you use Gamar's effect to fill up your field. Five rear guard columns. You ride Alfred on top of Gamar. And Alfred can be, with his limit break, he'll be at 21 by himself. Really good. Uh, he's a finisher for the deck. And uh, Alfred effect is, for every rear guard you have a liberator in its name, he gets plus 2,000. So, 5 rear guards, he would get uh, plus 10. So he'll be at 21 by himself. And his other skill is, non limit break effect, you can combat 2 liberators, look at the top card of your deck, call it to the rear guard circle. Uh, you're probably never going to use the effect unless you have two combats, which you can since you only use three for this, and then you can use two for that. So you can use the effect. Yeah, Alfred is a good backup plan. Uh, you have to run four because uh, you need Alfred to ride on top of Gamor after you use Gamor's plus five effect. So, and that's why you run this uh, Trumpeter because he can go in the soul, and that gives you another open rear guard circle for Gamor's effect. So, you call 5, Gamor would get plus 15,000. So, he, Gamor would be at 26 by himself. So, that's why you don't need break rides in this deck. Because uh, Gamor and Alfred can hit big numbers by himself. So, that's really good. And plus, uh, Gancelot is uh, break ride is slow and doesn't work with Gamor. Because with Gamor, you want to have a small field as possible. So, one or two rear guards. Probably one rear guard before you activate his limit break effect. So, and with Gansalot, you need to have three rear guards. So that's why you don't run Gansalot, because Gansalot is too slow and it does not work with Kalmor. So, and plus the deck can hit for big numbers with uh, Trumpeter and Alfred. So you don't need the break rides. Next up, grade twos, I run two. Escarat. Escarat is a good card for early game because the Kalmor deck does not have an early game presence. You can't do early game rush. Escarad, uh, his effect is an attack hits a vanguard. You can combat one liberators to summon the top card of your deck to the open rearguard circle. 
So it's good because your opponent will guard him, so it forces guard off your opponent. And it gives you that early game pressure that your opponent, uh, that's good for any deck. And plus if you miss your Garmar ride, Alfred and uh, Eskarad are really good in, uh, as a backup plan. So two of these. And it's only one counter blast, so you can still use it with Garmar effect. Because uh, Garmar is number 4, counter blast 3, you have one left, you can still use his effect early game. So that's really good. Two Eskarad. Now three of the boss. Overcast Liberator Jarrant. His effect is, if your uh, gold pattern is called from the top of the deck, this unit gets plus 3,000. So it gets it would be at 12, and you can keep on using the effect. So what do you do is, uh, uh, if this card is called from the top of the deck, and you call four of the rear guards, uh, he would get a plus 12,000, so he'd be at 21 by himself. And that's a really good number for your rear guard column. Yeah, so you run three of these. I'll tell you the combo later. Three giants. Two of uh, Bagpipe Angel. Now this, I only run two of these. Because they're not that good. Since their effects only activate from the, when they're called from the deck. Uh, when this unit is called from the rear uh, deck to the rear guard circle, you can choose two of your Liberators. And they you get plus 2,000. So it's a good card. This is uh it has helped me may I make my rear guard columns attack for twenty one and above. So it's still really good. I only want two because um in the hand it doesn't do anything. It's just a nine K vanilla. So four of the twelve K attackers you gotta run them because it helps you uh, fix your field. If you have a trigger, just call this on front and attack for seventeen. Uh effect is liberating the vanguard, this unit gets plus three thousand when attack. So it's a twelve K attacker. Pretty simple. So four of those. Also the great ones. I run three Bruno. Bruno is the same thing as this guy. Uh, when another gold pattern is called from the top of the deck, this unit gets plus 3,000. So, and you can keep on using the effect for every card you call. So it's a 10k booster. And uh, it's really good. With uh, Galmore and uh, Alfred. So three of these. Four Marrow. I mean three Marrow. I don't have room for four, but uh, Marilyn is really good in this deck because it can help you fix your rear guard columns if you mess them up with Gaumor. Uh When you have a Vanguard with Liberator, this unit gets plus 2,000 when it attacks, so you can put this in the front row and attack for 10. Really good. Four. Liberator Joseph. Joseph is effect is when this unit is called from the deck. If you have a Liberator Vanguard, you can Soul Blast one Liberator card. To draw a card. Now you can only use this effect after you used all of Gomar's effect. So after you've plus five, you can activate Joseph's effect, Soul Blast one to draw a card. So he's the better Din Drain copy because he's a 7k. So you gotta run four of these for the extra draw power. Four really perfect guards. Gotta run four. Uh standard eight crit for the liberators. Four draws, and then four heals. That's the deck. Let's do the combos. So what I do is, this is my field. Since I intercept with my rear guards, I have four damage now. Now what I do is, I can one of the combos with the deck is that you can do is if you have this card in your hand, you can call it, and then activate this card's effect. So now you activate Gomor's effect. And now you plus four cards, but uh, you're guaranteed to make him 21 by himself. Instead of plusing five, you can just plus four cards. And he's because he'll get plus three for every rear guard you call. So this would be at 21 by himself. And if you get a uh, Bruno, that's also really good. Um, like the combo, the first time I've used Gomor's effect, let's, uh, let me show you what I did. So, Gomor, Limit Break, Fellowship Circle, Combat 3, summon the top card, one by one. First card I called was Bruno. So every card now I call, 
he would get plus 2,000. Second card I called was a perfect card. He gets plus two again. Second card I called was, where is he? The King of Knight, Alfred. Another plus 3,000 for this guy. And lastly, the card I called a bagpipe. Now, bagpipe skill, I gave plus 2,000 right there, plus 2,000 right there. So that's plus 4,000 for this row. So this is already attacking for 22 by itself. This will get another plus 3 since you call another one. And the last card I called was the trigger. And this was my only first attempt with the deck. I have made better columns with this deck. So it's really good because if you're going to get one of this or... Jaren off, uh, your rear guard columns become really strong. And if you're playing against Link Joker, you can just go attack and attack. Got more skill, put this card to the bottom of the deck, and he gets plus sword. Because you do that because your opponent can triangle lock you then. Because what Link, Link Joker does is lock, lock, lock. So you can still have a uh, rear guard columns you can attack with. And after you're done plusing five cards, what you do is you ride Alfred. If you have two Crown Blast, summon the top card of your deck. You call it, and this card will get plus 3000 again. So it's a really strong deck. It's really fun to play. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time.